Now, your cake first alert forecast with meteorologist Tony Lawback. I always do my weather so much better when Kat's in studio because I know I'm being watched right now. But 70 degrees here in Wichita, blue skies, a little bit of a wind out of the east, not too shabby, so starting your day off pretty well. Garden City, fog all but gone, blue skies left over, 66 degrees for you. Temperatures in Cakeland, Primarily in the mid 60s. That's what most everybody's seeing. We're starting to see some upper 60s and 70s take hold. Been in the 70s here across South Central Kansas for most of the morning. El Dorado here in Wichita as well as Winfield. Elkhart though making a run at 80. You're already up to 76 degrees, but that is the warmest spot in Cakeland right now. Just a few sprinkles across far northwest Kansas, not amounting to a whole lot. That's really where the biggest concentration of cloud cover is as well. Otherwise, just a few high clouds everywhere in Cakeland. We're going to continue to keep that pattern in place through most of the afternoon. As we get later into the afternoon and early evening, we start to see shower and storm chances increasing primarily across western Kansas, and that will linger probably into the early evening, maybe early overnight hours. See here by 9 o'clock, got a little bit of a cluster of showers and storm across western Kansas, but notice as that pushes to the east, we start to see things quieting down. This stopped at 11 o'clock. By midnight, it's all but gone by 2 a.m. as well. Where the clouds are hanging around, though, we may see a lingering shower, but I think the really the brunt of the storm chances, though, clearing out of here pretty early into the overnight hours. Anywhere in the yellow has a chance to see some showers and thunderstorms. Not everybody in this area is going to see it, and even less so the severe weather threat. Isolated coverage at best in the yellow areas. Wind gust and hail going to be the biggest threats for you today. Flash flooding, not a big issue. Not going to see widespread storms. The storms are going to be moving pretty quickly as well. And the tornado threat, very, very low as well. So really, again, maybe some hail, maybe some winds. It'll be a low end severe threat. And again, it's not going to be very widespread and it's not going to last very long into the nighttime hours. 80s for the northern half of Cakeland, 90s for the southern half. Some areas of southwest Kansas, mainly along the Oklahoma and Colorado borders, could touch the 100 degree mark down that way. Upper 90s not going to be out of the question easily for you. 60s, maybe low 70s overnight tonight. Again, shower and storm chances ending pretty early. I think by midnight, most areas in Cakeland will be dry. Unsettled though for the week ahead, but temperatures on the way down will be in the 90s Sunday into Monday. Then we start to make that decrease. Temperatures dropping into the low 80s come Friday. Best chance of showers and storms here in South Central Kansas looks to be in the Wednesday, Thursday time frame, but any day could see an isolated storm or two as we head into next week. For North Central Kansas, shower and storm chances later this evening into the early overnight hours. We could see another round again tomorrow night. Temperatures getting up to near 90 and then we make that fall down into the low 80s come next Friday. Again, unsettled daily storm chances for you as well. Southwest Kansas, you'll stay in the 90s through about Monday. Then you start your gradual cool down as we get into next week. Temperatures dropping into the low 80s by the time we hit Friday. Again, off and on shower and storm chances throughout the week. For Northwest Kansas, you'll peak out near 90 on Monday. That looks to be your warmest day. Then we start to make that cool down. <sighs> Upper 70s. Mm. Mm. Can't Perfection. wait till we can start. I cannot wait till we can start to say that here in South yeah. Central Kansas. But again, it's got the price a little unsettled. We'll see off and on shower and storm chances through next week. But again, we're just it's it's we're getting into that like little cold front, little cold front. <laughs> Drop us a degree or two, and then we kind of warm back up. Yes. Yeah. And unfortunately, nothing on the model. Like you see that big shot come in. Mm. That's not there yet. We're waiting. We're waiting, but right now we're, we're getting there, ticking down gradually. All right, sounds good. We'll be right back.